You write for theater, you write for TV, you go writing and they're okay. I don't write for TV, but I tried. You tried, right. But you tried to enter that writing stream. I tried. Well. Okay. But you've been in TV. You've done the, oh, I didn't think of that moments. Yeah. Okay. Where your character and your line is only there to feed the hero's plot. That's all you're there for. Yeah. You're not, you're, yeah. you're. How do you, how do I justify that? No. The question is, yeah, justify. We'll get to that too. <laughs> the question is, because we come from the theater and in the theater, we usually don't write people in who are only there to serve the hero's plot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But this medium called television has created this weird world that we all been in. Yeah. In which people exist only to feed the hero or heroine. Yeah. Why did we why did we go there? Why did TV become that kind of it's a twist, it's obscene, it's stupid, it's wrong, it's unartistic, and it doesn't speak about the human condition at all. But television, this media that is full of narrative mm -hmm. that has people who only exist to feed the heroes. Why are we there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. I, need to know. I don't know. All I know is that my objective was, if I was going to do that kind of work, to make sure that I was bringing an Asian character this, to the screen that was not a stereotype. So I, ref, you know, I refused to do accents, and to the extent that I could, no, back then, no way, because those characters didn't deserve, right? Because basically, I wanted to just, okay, I, I want, I want people to get used to seeing Asian faces on the screen. So wherever I have to start, I'll start. But I okay, mean, okay, I'm gonna go sideways again, but I'm gonna go sideways on the same topic, mm -hmm. in that. Your struggle, your fight, your activism is to include all voices in the cultural community that we are a community of voices, yeah. right? This is what we're trying to do. So here we have a television medium that reduces people to being adjuncts to heroines. Yeah. Here we are in a world of super... Uh, hang on, Mike, I'll get through this. Here we are in a world of superhero movies. And the superhero mo movies, the message underneath is yeah. whatever the threat to the world or people, Ordinary people cannot solve this problem. Yeah. You need a hero. You need a superhero. So again, in the superhero movies, ordinary people are reduced yeah. to the functions that serve the, super the hero yeah. people. So we do it on television, whether it's in a crank of the mill, fingers down the throat yeah. cop show. We do it on television. We're do so we're reducing yeah. people, artists, to cogs to feed heroes. Yeah. Meaning by, and I'll get off in a second, meaning that we do not have the faith that ordinary people can affect change, can bring justice, can save Sally or same Bill or whatever. Your fight in the theater is to say that ordinary people, no matter the sex, the gender, the yeah. tone or whatever, yeah. so we have been winning on the small stage we have been losing on the big stage because the message that ordinary people don't matter mm -hmm. is being repeated over and over and yeah. over again. Yeah. Help me ex understand this phenomenon. Well, we all want to be rescued. It's that whole rescue thing. Like, because the thing about the hero is, um, is that that hero is going to rescue everybody, and it takes a lot of responsibility off of people to be the hero. That's one thing. I, I, I've been thinking about this more in terms of, say, say the Mueller report, that the, the dis, kind of discourse and the attitude about, for people who've been like looking at Trump going, what the fuck, has been going, Mueller, roommate for Mueller, Mueller will solve it, you know? Um, and, and almost um, an idolatry, and then this massive disappointment when he pr produced this incredible report, which most people haven't read. If you read it, there is no doubt that Trump is 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 part of a criminal enterprise and he's not even the top of the criminal enterprise that's what's shocking like in the in the harry potter world trump is not voldemort he's not even close to voldemort do you read harry potter do you know anybody i do i do i do, do? I, do, I, do, I, do. I do trump is dolores umbridge wow trump is the one say who's telling people i do well you know uh, uh, do not tell lies trump that's who trump is Trump is, Trump is the school marm who's occupied Hogwarts. Voldemort isn't even Putin. Voldemort is probably Semyon Mogilevich. Anyway, the point is, um, with the hero narrative, um, there's always the hope that someone better than you is going to fix the problem, right? 
So maybe that's why. Maybe that's why we, 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 we love hero narratives. I don't know, but we do love them. We love our heroes. Because it absolves us of responsibility. Yeah, but then, the, yeah. But then the, the, the question for me is, well, why are the heroes always white guys? Why aren't they women? Why aren't they an Asian person? Yeah. Why aren't they, like, because then, then the question is like, who gets to share in, the, in this fantasy of this kind of agency? Who, who gets to share but in for it? me, it's, the hero the, narrative has been taken to the edge and it's now a rotten narrative. Oh, it's... Because it's disempowered people. So whether you take the rotten narrative and say, okay, well, yeah. let's have a black hero, let's have a woman hero. I totally let's have a, agree. Say, who that cares? Who cares? We're in a rotten narrative. We're in a rotten narrative, yeah. And honestly, the real heroes, if the real heroes right now that, that I see, like just from, from paying attention, are people who are bookish, decent people who simply, like, like Adam Schiff, like... Um, Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg, yeah. like uh, Nancy Pelosi, you know? Like, there's a lot of people, and there's a lot of good people. Everybody's good, at, you know, in their own way. And Can you imagine if Hollywood made a movie about Greta Thunberg? Can you imagine what they would do? Oh, they'd mess it up. I mean, I have nothing against Hollywood. I am deeply disturbed at the kind of toxic malfunctioning ideas of how cultures work that they perpetuate.